What's up, anime fans? This is Raphael from C Manga, and I'm joined by Jonathan. What's up, guys? And we're here to give you another review of Death Parade, this week's episode 9, Death Counter. And so, I have to give my verdict right now. This episode is probably the best one we've been given so far in the series. It it just had everything. The drama, the twist, the character development, the emotions, everything was just there. And even, like as I said, storytelling was so well done because last week we just thought these two people were, you know, individuals who committed separate murders that had yep. nothing to do with each other. But then we find that their fates and previous life were so intertwined. It was like, wow, okay. This episode yeah. was complete. Like that is the only way you could say it's complete. Yeah, it's complete. It's like what a twist. Mm. No, I think the other episode that came close to this was uh, the one where he had two childhood friends, and he finds out that one was. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. that's just a, yeah. Yeah, that one, that one was quite good. But this mm. one, this one was really good, man. And it was kind of like, um, you know, it wasn't like a fable where it's like, oh, at the end you should never do this and da da da. But it was kind of like. It shows how angry people can get. Mm. You know what I mean, like at first, I thought the I thought the detective was gonna be like a yakuza guy or something like that. Yeah. But then he just finds out he's a detective who is slightly insane. Mm. And I'll say this because <laughs> the guy kills the person who killed his wife, and then he's like, "I heard her say thank you." I'm like, "Bro, you're just <laughs> you, my friend, are mentally unstable." Mm-hmm. And then he just yeah, he just tries to like um, pushes. The younger guys like you want revenge <laughs> you do you have the guts to take revenge and then i think he just pressed so many buttons that at the end uh the the younger guy um he just kind of just like <laughs> he snapped mm. even though the girl of no name was hugging him was like no you can get reincarnated it's all a lie she told him everything or the truth but this guy's rage was like on nine thousand, mm. man <laughs> and he just he just like he snapped and it kind of shows like uh, she was shouting out to Dekim, um, oh, you know, you're not really an arbiter because what you're doing is just making, you're pressing so many buttons and making everybody so angry that they just get blinded with rage, mm. which is, well, she didn't exactly say that, but that's really the gist of what she was saying. Well, it more, or less, it more or less was right. I mean, yeah. if when you think about it, um, this episode is kind of, um, you know, highlighting how Dekim has been as an arbiter. He despite the fact that we've been told he's more or less you know um an experiment in a way you know like to see how arbiters deal with emotions but yeah. he's been the most emotionless in the series thus far and every time he feels something it's like it's a complete shock to him but the way um the black hair girl is saying what he deals with things is so you know um robotic it's just yeah. like factory line like here yeah. comes another two set of um um, you might as well say dead people. Yeah. I'm gonna judge them this way. I'm not gonna consider anything. I need to draw out the darkness as much as possible, Thank and you. I don't care if that person is good. Yeah. If they're the angriest, they're gonna be sent to the void. And, and she, yeah, she basically called him out when she was like, "Oh, so what did you do last time? What mm. you did was hug them. Is that this? What's the point of hugging somebody with no emotion? Exactly. You know what I mean? Just like, oh, you're just going through the motions at this point. Yeah. So, which is true because it's kind of like he's not. It's not like oh yeah they're arbiters, but it's not like oh you're really good and you're really bad. Mm. It's kind of all right. These games, these death games, are kind of forcing two people in a situation of oh um, survival. And when it's survival, it's fight or flight. You know what I mean? More or less. Well, yeah, more or less fight or flight. And if they're two people, the only way somebody's gonna go to 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 get reincarnated and go to the void in those circumstances like those extreme extreme circumstances is exactly. one either you're passive or you're very you're, you're aggressive mm. so <laughs> if you're if you're going to be like oh um I, I just can't i don't want to fight then it's like all right you're a good guy when really no because you could be a good guy and still want to fight exactly. you know what i mean you, you know the and fact, it's the fact, the fact of the matter is um I think w- the way she put it down is pretty much the best way um, yeah. you can describe humans. Humans aren't that complex. He's delving far too deeply into yeah. it, and he and he made this scenario. You know, this episode yeah. went the way it was because he provoked it. I mean, he even set up the um, whole you know torturing at the end. Yeah. That when the guy um, <laughs> Tatsumi, the 
detective his yes. philosophy was so messed up he still saw himself as an arbiter he's like you, sometimes in life you've got to sacrifice something to gain something yeah. and this kind of you know went on to the guy Shimada you know was corrupting him he probably wouldn't have thought that way like if um you know if he wasn't given the opportunity or like if things weren't provoked but the Thank fact you. of the matter was he's there laughing like yep I was there when your sister was being killed I only take revenge on victims who have actually been attacked if I stopped yeah. him you would have done it again and then now that he's heard this Deckham's like what do you want to do I want to kill him he's like very well instead of thinking you know let's talk this out a bit or yeah. assert his true feelings I need to see words are not enough it's like words are superficial his feelings um the way he acted that was you know human Super impulse angry, yeah. exactly that is literally anyone can be angry that is the point the black hills girls are trying to say but you have twisted it into like this guy is evil it's he's really evil, what he wants whole, to do like, from the beginning yeah, yeah when in fact it's it's so different we saw the contrasting characters shimada is a guy who looked after his um you might as well say looked after his sister as if he was his daughter because they lost their parents yeah. they had nothing he sacrificed yeah. his career and everything and everything He's the only one bringing her up and everything exactly <laughs> you know what i mean and, then, the only he... people... <laughs> and then all of a sudden she's like she's like oh um you know she got attacked yeah savagely attacked by this guy you know yeah so... and then and then on the flip side obviously he wants revenge because that's his little sister he wants right. to take it out but yeah. he was vomiting and everything about it taxing me now on the flip side he's like my wife's death has awoken the arbiter in me it's like Thank i can you. he like... was happy about it he had no sort of remorse and, about killing know, yeah. him yeah and you know what the mad thing is though the stupid thing is when he was like oh i only kill people they have to be victims yada 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 mm. but he killed somebody number one yeah mm. number two he ended up killing the same guy anyway exactly yeah? Number three, he was laughing and calling himself an arbiter and yada yada. Exactly. He knew the guy was on a wanted list anyway. <laughs> so it's, it's like he, instead of this becoming a thing of justice, he even said it's not justice. It's yeah. like I'm, it's a calling for me. I am like you know the Avenger or something. Yeah, you know what I mean. And <laughs> and it's ridiculous because it's like no, all of these things you could prevent it. This is why Shimada is so angry because it's like you could have stopped this. You just yeah, let exactly. it happen. And he's like, well. You got to gain some. You got to um, sacrifice something to take something, and it's like he sacrificed his sister. Yeah, and then that's when he couldn't. He couldn't handle it. Yeah, yeah. there was no way he Obviously, could control that. Anger, yeah, mm. and then and then Deckham's like, okay, let me just set this up for you. Mm. <laughs> then he's like, what do you want to do now? Exactly. I was just like, wow. So, but that, that hand, really hands shows, down, hands yeah. down. Yeah, I was gonna say, I just <laughs> think like this whole episode was powerful, and that last bit there was so well done whereas he probably wouldn't have done it the girl calmed him down but then you know um tatsumi provoked him he stabbed him and then it was like the music played and i was just done after that and then you know showing you know like his past life and he's stabbing all the yeah. pucks during the credits yeah. and yeah. that and pretty much done it took, man. yeah destruction like flipping road traffic mm everything man just to get his sister through school and then she got attacked and everything but powerful, oof, powerful such, episode, is, such is anime life bro. Exactly. Powerful, powerful stuff bro. powerful powerful stuff man powerful <laughs> stuff but, but yeah it, um, it's it's kind of now making me think where do we go from here how is it going to play out we've got three more episodes left for this series and i generally can't wait to see what they're going to do you yeah, know to yeah. kind of top this i yeah. think um yeah i think i think you know, if things go the way they go, I think Deckham's gonna realize um, something. He's not like other blah blah blah. Mm. And then, then, then the, all the truth comes out, and then we finally find out what that girl's name is and why she's so important. Yeah, it's, you could tell. The book played its part a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So something's gonna happen that's gonna be like, mm. oh my god! But yeah, no, I really. I agree. <laughs> it's, I yeah, agree. It's, it's it's gonna be a good ending, man. And I say this, I said this once, and I say it before. I say it again. Sorry. You know, you can rate an anime and how good it is if it makes you not assess your life, but think about, you know, your actions mm. in life. And uh, on that note, I think this is this has passed that test. I agree. I think that was a really good quote for this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so well, uh, that's more or less this episode in a nutshell. Um, well, you can tell me and Jonathan enjoyed it immensely, and we can't wait to see 
the last three episodes of the series is uh, there's so much draw um i'd say more dwelling and you know kind of expanding of characters to be done and yeah. I, I think this anime has done a very good job of you know dwelling into human psyche everything storytelling it's all brilliant so bring on the next three yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you guys know the usual if you enjoyed this let us know what you think and we'll join you next week take care yeah remember to like and subscribe ciao